Okay, let's say you're at work and your boss told you, figure out what is the best day to have a meeting. You guys have to have a big meeting and your boss wants to know, he wants the workers to vote on the day to have this meeting. Okay. So the title of our chart bar graph is meeting date, meeting day. What day of the week do you guys want to have the meeting every week? Okay. So let's put day of the week. I can put days of the week. Okay. And for the y-axis, number of people, or number of votes, number of votes. These are people voting, number of votes, okay? Now, some people want to have the, the meeting on Monday. Some people want to have the meeting on Wednesday. People want to have the meeting on Friday. Some people want to have the meeting Saturday. Okay. So you have your days of the week at the bottom. Okay. And it just dropped down a little bit because it's so it wouldn't be so tight. But those are your days of the week at the bottom. And your number of votes. Let's see. Seven people voted for Monday. Eleven people voted for Wednesday. Uh-oh, we didn't put our comma. Okay, there's Wednesday. Six people voted for Saturday. And one person voted for the weekend. Okay. So your graph should look like that. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, you can turn on your numbers. Okay. Now I have some questions for you. How many more people voted for Wednesday than Monday? How many more people voted for Wednesday than Monday? More people voted for Wednesday. How many more voted for Wednesday than Monday? You're looking at the difference between 11 and 7. Okay. How many people voted for Friday and Wednesday? So you have to add Friday and Wednesday. Those two. How many people voted for Friday and Wednesday? So you add Friday with Wednesday. Okay. All right, 